Hello everybody, this is a tutorial to help you learn more about how to record your screen on your iPad. This is different than recording to Teams. This would be to help you if you had your iPad and you were trying to record a how-to or other information video for students or other staff members. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. And you will need to scroll down to be able to find your control center. Your control center is an easy way to get to some of the most used apps on your iPad. So I went ahead and clicked on control center and then we're going to click on where it says customize controls. One of the controls that you will need in order to do this is to have the screen recording as one of your included icons. Right now at the bottom, you can see here that I do have screen recording. If you don't see that on your list of things to include, it should be down here below where it says more controls. If it's there, all you'll have to do is click on that plus and it should move up to the section that says include. So as you can see, screen recording is on my iPad. So in order to get to your control center, what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger and you're going to slide down over the battery icon and that will bring up what's called your control center. As you can see, one of the things on here that is currently lit up in red is your screen recording button. And that is because I am currently recording here to Teams. But in order to do this without Teams, all you would have to do is to click on that button. And you can see there that right now it's currently showing that I am recording and that my microphone is on. If I went ahead and clicked that red button that says microphone on, it would go ahead and lighten and go to microphone off. So then essentially it would just be recording your screen without any audio. If you do want audio on your screen and on your iPad as you're recording, you'll need to make sure that you click that button. It will choose to save to photos and you can go ahead and grab that video from your photos icon on your iPad. So this would be if you were looking for creating a how-to video or something for classroom that you would need possibly for directions or another assignment or something like that. So that's how you record your screen. When you are finished, you would just want to make sure that you clicked stop recording and then it would go ahead and save that to your photos icon. I hope this helps with understanding how to record your screen on your iPad.